Hey guys, today I want to show you how you can create uh, the heat map, the football passes heat maps, uh, something like you are seeing in your screen uh, at the moment. We'll be trying to create the heat map you are seeing at the moment. We also will create such map, as you can see, and the same, basically very similar, but a little bit different map like you are seeing at the moment. So now let's switch to the Jupyter Notebook I prepared before. So first thing first, we need to import all the imported libraries we'll be using during this video. And let's run this cell. We'll import MPL Soccer, Pandas, NumPy, requests and JSON normalize we'll be using during this video. Then what we need to do is basically to get data from somewhere. And uh, we'll uh, create, we'll get this data from StatsBomb service from the open data, StatsBomb uh, providing to all the people interested in uh, football analytics and football data. We can run this. Then we, we will convert this data, which is JSON format, into a tabular data, which is uh, and Pandas data frame. Let's have a look what we got. So this is the data we'll be using. Well, I'm showing only the first five rows of this data. Okay. Now, what we need to do in order to create a heat map? Well, we need to uh, filter out only the passes because these are these data, data set um, includes all the events during this match. So we need to filter out only the passes and filter out these passes for specific team. So let's do this. This string, this expression basically does what it, uh, what it says. It's, it, it filters out only the passes and we'll use the French passes. But, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, uh, these, these are data sets for a final match of World Cup 2018 um, between France and Croatia. So we'll choose the France as a team we'll be analyzing and we'll filter out the passes. What we're doing next, we are saving the coordinates of these passes into a separate variable called location underscore x, y. And location, what is location? Let's find this location in this data set. And here it is. It's basically the coordinates, the x and y of each event. And we're saving it. And then we're just renaming these columns uh, from 0, 1 to x, y, just uh, uh, to make it more simple uh, to work with these data. Let's run this. And then we just drop an A. So drop any uh, rows, any uh, coordinates, uh, which doesn't, which don't have any, which don't have coordinates. It, it, it can happen. And uh, we don't want to mess with this kind of uh, data. So let's run it. And here's the first five rows of our data set. So we, as you can see, uh, there are X and Y, and these are coordinates. These are first five Co coordinates of uh, French passes. Now let's finally get down to the business and create a pitch map, um, a heat map of these passes. So let me run this cell and I will explain what it does afterwards. So as you can see, it produces these three uh, pitches and with heat maps. So what it does, first of all, this part of code uh, generates the football pitch. If you are wondering how to do this, how it, how does it work? You can check one of the previous videos where I'm explaining how you can draw uh, football pitches using two uh, different uh, approaches. Now, what we do next? We are setting. We are we are creating uh, three bins: six by five, one by five, and six by one which is, which are these three. So if, if you count the number of these uh, cells, these segments, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
one, two, three, four, five. It's six by five. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, five by one. And this one is six by one. Now, what we need to do next? We need to, uh, we need to pass the locations of our events, of our passes to this uh, bin uh, statistic in order uh, to actually draw, to, to, to separate these passes uh, on the field, to display these passes uh, on different uh, segments of the field. Next, we need to draw a heat map and pass these bins, these locations over here. And finally, we want to draw these passes. You see these uh, white points on the fields. These are the uh, single, each of these points is a single pass. So we want to draw these passes because uh, it's uh, more convenient to see where these passes come from. So we, we are doing this with this uh, string. It's uh, where we're plotting these points as a scatter and passing locations uh, X and Y. Next, we want to write these percentages, which would mean uh, what is uh, the percentage of passes which uh, were made in every of these segments to the total number of passes during this match. And we can do this by calculating by dividing the number of passes uh, inside each of the segment by the total number of passes uh, during this match. And we just then, uh, instead of uh, showing the raw numbers, we are uh, showing the percentages. And finally, what we need to do in, to, to create uh, these passes location for France, this headline, uh, this, this title. So that's what wasn't uh, really difficult, I think. Now let's try and uh, change this map a little bit, just a little bit. Basically, you see, these are the same uh, football pitches, but the segments, the, uh, the division of the, the pitch is different. We are just... Uh, using this heat map positional uh, method instead of heat map. It's, it doesn't really matter uh, what you use. It's more up to your coach or analyst or your preference, your personal preference, how you would like to divide the, the pitch and uh, to analyze uh, your match. Well, yeah, so it's, it doesn't really matter which one you will use. Yeah, and one more thing. Uh, for example, some some coaches, some analysts, they prefer to divide this pitch. Uh, I'm referring to the third one. Uh, this pitch into three uh, segments. So they, they divide the, the, the pitch by three thirds. And you can do this easily. For example, here, instead of six, you can write three and you will get you will get this uh, division by three which is uh, very common in football world so it's not that e not that difficult as you see well let's change it back okay <clears throat> excuse me now uh, let's move on to my favorite favorite uh, heat map uh, let, let me run this so basically what it does, it divides the football pitch uh, in 25 by 25 bin segments, which you can see here. It's, yeah, 25 by 25. And uh, it's uh, coloring these segments depending on number of passes uh, relative to the total number of passes, number of passes in each of these segments uh, uh, relative to the total number of passes. The lighter the, the segment, the more passes over here. And we can just check. We see that the, there were a lot of passes on the left wing, on the center, 
and uh, we can see that yeah that that's exactly the case the 25 percent were here on the left 25 percent were here on the center and basically it's the the division the the number of segments and their uh size is different but yeah you, you see here uh, in on the left uh more passes and these are uh, kind of this number of passes refers to these segments so basically it shows the set all these uh heat maps these three these three and this one shows the exact uh data but it shows differently because different people prefer different heat maps different uh ways of uh perceptions and uh yeah it's always a good idea to present different uh, ways to, to visualize uh, the same data because different people uh, have uh, different preferences. So what it does basically, it divides uh, the this field that the, the, that football field into twenty five by twenty five um, segments, and it also uses this Gaussian filter which smooths the uh the colors i would say we can try and use it and comment it out to see what will happen basically it's the same data but with a different visualization we can get it back and the reason we're using this because it's just nice to see nice to have a look at this kind of heat map in my personal opinion of course so basically that's it for today i hope you like this video uh, click like subscribe post your comment below and uh practice practice makes perfect thanks for watching